Getting started with social media. Research ideas and careers are developed through personal connections and publications. This hasn't changed in many hundreds of years. But what has changed are the tools available to researchers to make those connections and publish their work. Social media can help you find new people to collaborate with, build readership for your work, and discover new resources to help with your research. There are lots of different types of social media accounts, and most are free to use. There are several that are particularly useful for researchers. The services we will explain here relate to blogging, microblogging, videos, images and datasets. Blogging is a natural tool for researchers. You can write about your work as you do it, and there is also the opportunity to have others comment and contribute to this. Get started with a simple blog on a blogging website like WordPress. Microblogging involves posting very brief announcements and comments, which are then made available to your followers, a network of contacts that have signed up to receive these. Probably the best known microblogging tool is Twitter, but there are many others. If you create videos that relate to your work, then why not set up a video social media account and host your videos there? Some of the most popular sites for this are YouTube and Vimeo. If you create images and graphics that relate to your work, then you could also host these on sites such as Flickr and Pinterest. Datasets can be hosted on services such as Figshare and Dryad. Once you've published these related resources, you can then use Qdos to link them to your publication, helping show the broader context of your work, giving your work a high international profile and helping you make interesting new discoveries and connections. More impact for your work, more Qdos for you. Get started now by registering at www.growqdos.com.